maximum. Help. Engaged. Welcome back, everyone. The last part was a movie, but in this episode we continue the walkthrough. As you may already know, I upload movies to a separate channel, in order to avoid potential copyright claims by third parties. I only upload actual gameplay footage to my main channels. You may have noticed link videos, which essentially point to where these movies have been uploaded to. They are only about 16 seconds long, so if you watch them before clicking on the link, I should get some kind of monetary reward. Not much, but every little helps. Probably best to use a magnum here, but I wanted to show that it is possible to use other weapons too. You might take some damage along the way though. Hey Chris, why do they call them liquors? Sounds kinda dirty. Why Shiva, I didn't know you had such a dirty mind. Like you don't. I'm a man, of course I have a dirty mind. But now that I think about it, you're right, they mainly use their tongues, to whip, and penetrate you. Maybe they should be called, whipping penetrators. That sounds much more dirty, and twisted. You're right, how about crawlers? No, liquors sounds much funnier. I agree. If you need some quick cash, you can replay this part a few times, to collect these Lionheart Jewels, which are each worth two and a half thousand. You get five here, so you can get a total of twelve and a half thousand, each time. But it's only worth it if you have a powerful weapon, with plenty of ammo, so that you can get through quickly. On subsequent playthroughs, you could enable infinite ammo on a Magnum, or Rocket Launcher, the choice is yours. But there are slightly more easier ways to make money, and I will point them out along the way. There is a secret shortcut here, where you can save time by not triggering the upcoming cutscene. Watch out for video number 37 in the series, to see exactly how that can be done. You grab Roger. it! Take it! Okay! These frackers can be awkward, so staying back here is probably a good idea.
You grab it. Roger. Come on, Roger. Take it. Okay. As you may know, the music in the background means that there are still active enemies lurking around. And there's the last fracker. Note, no more music. Looks like we have to go this way. can snipe a few enemies, which are on top of some balconies, down this way. It will make the going a little easier. Destroying these containers will also make things a little easier. Remember to stay in the middle of these two conveyor belts, or you will be carried backwards, towards a potentially fiery death. BSAA emblem can be found here on the left. As well as a new machine gun over here. Take it. Roger. Roger. Missiles? Why would they need these, do you think? Maybe they're planning to start a war. Come on! Roger! At this stage, you will probably have a lot of items in your inventory, so at the upcoming checkpoint, you can restart your game to get rid of excess items. Remember to restart, because if you quit, you will have to start from when you first entered this area, which was just after the liquor's encounter. We now have an upcoming boss battle, not a main boss mind you. More like a mini boss, called a reaper. 
Reapers are easy to kill, if you know how, but sometimes a bit of bad luck can lead to instant death, so caution is always recommended. They intermittently expose a white pod, first in the chest and then on their back. You just have to keep shooting these pods, until the fracker is dead, and it's as simple as that. If you miss, then you will have to patiently wait for another opportunity, while keeping your distance. They drop a jewel worth 5,000. Hey, I thought Reapers were supposed to be a lot bigger. You were thinking of Mass Effect. Oh, that's right, silly me. If you have trouble killing the Reaper, just use a rocket launcher. See my rocket launcher stockpile guide, if you don't have any. These must be the discarded test subjects from the research facility. You can pick up two dead bride's necklaces on this conveyor belt, but mine the indestructible test subjects. I don't know why they are indestructible, it would have been good fun if you could kill them. Hurry up Shiva, no time for sightseeing. Alright, but I'm not sightseeing, I'm taking a bathroom break. Oh, I see. Don't you have to go? I've been, already. When? When the Reaper jumped down. Oh, so that's what the smell was. Don't worry, I'll change at this next checkpoint. How? Hey, if we can change costumes mid-level, then I'm sure a clean pair of underwear won't be a problem. Good point. So exactly which DLC pack was the clean underwear in? In this area, you can stockpile a few items, namely flame rounds, which can prove to be useful against the upcoming boss. Take it! Okay! The next part will be a movie, and after that, a video on how to beat the second Euroboros boss. I will show at least two different strategies. That's about it for this time, so please comment, thumbs up and subscribe, if you like this video. This is Blade, and it's goodbye from me.